Hi guys, I am here with Algernon Doll. Hey. Hi. Yeah. How's the how's the tour going? Pin act. Uh, it's it's been really fun. Everything that can go wrong's gone wrong. <laughs> I saw your van broke down. Yeah. It broke. A lot of black smoke came out of it, and then we got a new one. That's not good. And we couldn't work it because it was like, it had a computer and stuff like that. And then we got a parking ticket. Oh. What here? Yeah. <laughs> Just and there. we broke the windshield. And we broke the windshield. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. But not in a heroic sort of. <laughs> John hit a tree slowly, like uh -huh. a slow crash, like a funny yeah. crash. But that's not that's not a broken. That yeah. yeah, that was another thing. So that's like five things I've listed to do with the band. But the tour is good, yeah. 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 Good tour then. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What What's it been like playing with Pin Act? Uh, well, we did it last year um, in oh, yeah. the summer. They're just our best friends, yeah. and uh, they're doing really well. They just yeah. signed to K9. Yeah. So. Cool. I'm going to talk to them about that. So that's yeah. a good link. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how's the transition been? Because you, uh, for people who haven't seen Al John Doll before or check them out, you were originally a solo artist. Yeah. And uh, you kind of transitioned to a three-piece that we see before us now. Uh, how's it been? I've seen you say in interviews before that the like the first two albums were kind of a selfish process for you because you kind of recorded them for yourselves. Oh yeah. Um, is it more of a collaboration now? Now it is, yeah, for our new record. But we were, we were just discussing changing our name, like. Oh really? Just there. Yeah. So I hope that doesn't scatter your interview in any way. <laughs> That'll be fine. Looking into the logistics of doing yeah, you that. Can just put formally. Formally, yeah. Like we'll be like Prince. Yeah. <laughs> but three. Are you actually going to do it, or are you just? Is it just in I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards it. Mm. I also like that quote about Prince. So you should. <laughs> <laughs> That's it now. That's you're locked in. Yeah, yeah. The artist formerly known as Algernon Doll. Yeah. Or a symbol. You can have a symbol. Yeah. So you just recorded your fourth album, or what could be your first album, yeah. under a new name, uh, with Steve Albini of Nirvana and Pixies and many others' fame. Uh, what was it like working with him? Uh, he's super relaxed and nice. He's just like an engineer, but he goes for the sort of audio direction. He's just a good engineer, and I think he's not scary at all. I think he's scary to Americans, maybe, uh, but not to people that... Like in Glasgow, it's just constant punishment of your friends, and he's kind of like that. So. He doesn't mind giving you abuse. And like I like that. <laughs> yeah. It may feel at home. Yeah. Um, and he, yeah, he's, he's very intelligent. He knows about absolutely every subject under the sun. He's a good friend. No, I, I feel like we could yeah, we're just friends. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Did you record it in America then? Yeah, we recorded it in Chicago at Electrical Audio, which was cool. Uh, in like six days. We just did it all live onto tape. So it's yeah. pretty real. Nice. Never not tuned my vocals before. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, I do like the little thing. Everyone does it. <laughs> Trust me, everyone fixes you know what things a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I admit to it. But I think I nailed it on the tape. Yeah. Almost, kind of. Uh, do you think it's going to be a rawer sound because of that? or? Yeah. There's like no extra instruments. Just a yeah. band. It's sound more like a band. Yeah. 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 Uh, so is it a different direction or is it kind of, uh, like you said, the gap between second and third was more refinement than a change of sound. Do you think this is I the think same? It's a mistake to do the same thing. I almost did the same thing twice. And that's not fun for anyone. I thought, uh, no, I thought that people would like that. And I, I think that's silly to think what people would like because... It's a pretty boss album, I think. Uh, uh, but it is quite... It's not, it's not split, but it is kind of Pixies-ish in that you have... The really poppy, not like really poppy, but like quite sweet pop songs, yeah. and then you have like the really heavy songs like "Fillet" and "Relate," which rhyme, so it's really easy to remember. Yeah, um, that was really clever at the time. Mm. <laughs> it's not. It does make them easy to remember, I have to say, from an interview's perspective. Um, so, have you kind of gone either way of it's that, or is it? Heavier. It's like garage rock punk with a. Uh, there's a song that's got like Johnny Marr-esque guitars on it as well, which is weird. You're in the right place for that. Yeah, I love Johnny Marr. I don't, I don't so much take to Morrissey, but I love Johnny Marr. They do a Smiths night in here as well. Oh, really? Where they just do like Smiths and Morrissey. 
Oh, Songs all night. We're big fans of the Cribs. I mean, I know his record with the Cribs isn't isn't our favorite. No, yeah. no, I agree. He kind of ruins bands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Like Modest Mouse as well. I love yeah. Modest Mouse, but that album. Uh, yeah, I agree. Like the Moon in Antarctica, yeah. definitely my favorite Modest Mouse album. Good. Yeah. Anyway, That's what the can you do? Road we're going down, I guess. But he's not going to join and ruin your band, is he? How would you say no to Johnny? Mac? Well, that, that's what <laughs> I discussed this with someone. Yeah, yeah I like discussed that. this with someone recently. Like, he joins and ruins band, but you can't say no because it's Johnny yeah. Marr. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Johnny Marr asks, "Can I join your band?" Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're like, "No, fuck off, Johnny Marr." Yeah. Well, that's what he's told if you join the You're just a hired hand, Johnny Marr. Yeah. Uh, he's got a solo project now, anyway. He's oh, alright. Really? Oh yeah, actually, yeah, I remember. Yeah. He played Smith songs in that as well, which Morrissey kind of doesn't. I don't know. I've never don't seen Morrissey. Morrissey or... I just know that I'm vegan too, and he's giving us a bad name. <laughs> 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 That's a nice, nice quote. Uh, uh, so for Wool and Owen, uh, was it quite difficult joining uh, a solo artist? Was it quite difficult for you, or did it just feel like slipping in? Um, for me, it was easy. Like, uh, I joined maybe a year ago, and I just heard all the songs, and sort of listened to them a bunch, and then went and practiced them, and it was really natural. And then, uh, over a few months, we just started writing stuff together, and mm. it seemed really, I don't know, it seemed really easy and good and natural. So it was cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um. I suppose uh, I joined about a couple of years ago when uh, we were getting ready for Satellapop. Yeah. So like we played a solo show together, and then this guy's went, "Yeah, we're need a bass player," and then I'm um, joining, and we just like started like jamming in the living room, working out the songs, that kind of thing. So it kind of felt like a new band right from there. And right. I don't know. I think it's been really easy. We just get along really well, so it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Was it? Was it? Well, I've already talked about that. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, thanks. Everything I say sounds sarcastic, doesn't it? It's just, <laughs> it's just being <laughs> Scottish. I know how you feel. It's, it's a Scottish thing. We when I go down south, yeah, I get we toured with the Winter Passing, and everything they sound because they're Irish sounds genuine, yeah. but everything <laughs> I say sounds sarcastic. So. There was a guy. There was a guy played in here on Monday called Mark McCabe. Um, oh, no. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. well, he said um, he said something. I'm really happy to be here, even though I don't sound like I do. It's just yeah. I'm just Scottish. That's what we sound like. You would know them. That's because he lives in England. He voted no and then he moved to England. He knew. He, had, he saw it coming. Mark? I, do, I know Mark. <laughs> That's fine. I don't, I don't really know him. I met, I met him. We're pals, it's okay. Yeah. You're a very prolific songwriter in terms of, um, compared to other bands, I mean, most bands have kind of spread four albums out over like 10 years or maybe more. Yeah. I mean, it's taken brand new. It took brand new, brand new, my favourite band, so I'm going to go on all, about them all the time. Uh, it took brand new, like, over ten years to write four albums, and they've still not released the fifth after, like, fifteen. Um, oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, how do you kind of keep it fresh? I mean, you're on your, this will be your fourth in five years. Um, is it quite difficult, or do you just find it a really natural process? I just do different things every time. Like, not, don't be afraid to be simple. With things, I thought you had to be complicated to be original, but you don't. You don't really. And I don't know. There's no pressure on me like there is on Brand New, though. You know, if I write a bad album, no one really cares. Uh, I care. Some people, these guys, don't care. Yeah. But I think. No, I think it's better. I think you keep getting better. Maybe. So ta- maybe Satalpop's better than Unphalic. Maybe. Really. Maybe. But this new one's the best. Yeah. Definitely the best. It's way way better. Um, when have you got a release schedule? Or uh, no, we got to go to New York in a couple of weeks to talk to record labels. Nice. Are you playing a playing a show in New York? Do I see that? Mm-hmm. One? But well, yes. Sorry. I think I saw it on your website. Did I say that? Yeah. We are, well, we are, but the yeah, American I'm government. I'm sure I saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> we played like three shows or something. Right. We're not. We're not getting paid. Yeah, so it's, it's a voluntary basis. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's for your your trip is purely for pleasure. Yes. Yes. Yeah, still got tourist visas. So <laughs> yeah. uh, that's all my questions, oh. but it has been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah it's been really cool. Uh, thanks for doing it. It's Algernon Dahl, everyone. Yeah. Or possibly seems to be known as something else. Right now, Womps. <laughs> womps. womps. I like Womps. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. From Watch. Remember Recess? Recess. With the cartoon. Yeah, I do remember it. I never really watched it. I wasn't a very big Disney Channel fan. I was Nick through and through. Because, yeah, uh, for example, when Doug, Doug went to Disney from Nick, it went shit. Yeah. And they changed the colour of people, but not like in a race way, just from like green to orange. It was fucking stupid. Anyway. Arthur's a duck, right? Ar no. Arthur? Arthur's an aardvark. Ar oh, is he? Because he has a dog. <laughs> yeah. That's silly. Yeah, he does. With the but dog. he's got a dog in his class as well. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Sorry, that's all I have to say nope, on that. That is <laughs> top. I enjoy a good Nicktoons chat. Do you know that the original Nicktoons all started on like the same day? It was like Rugrats and Doug. And I think something else all started on the same day. <laughs> that's like an amazing day in TV history. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's it. Algernon Doll. Possibly soon to be known as Womps. Womps. <laughs> Is that the Weezer thing? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah, thank you.